the Frontexit campaign was launched two years ago. Um, it was launched in Brussels, uh, so in Belgium, in Tunis during the World Social Forum two years ago, and also in Nouakchott in Mauritania. Frontexit is a campaign which brings together 19 organizations based in Europe, in West Africa, and North Africa. And the idea is that the role of the Frontex agencies is activities we believe uh, are not compatible with the respect of the fundamental rights of migrants. And this, we are documenting it because we're all grassroots organizations, so we see what the human rights violations are and we see the consequences of border control and how it can push back people. It kind of breaches their right also to leave any country, which is a fundamental right enshrined in international law. It also has consequences on the right for people to seek asylum. And there's all sorts of issues as regards the procedure, uh, inhuman and degrading treatment, which sometimes happen during deportation flights. And the idea is by working together between the North and the South, we exchange information, we try to access it, we try to disseminate to different audiences, and to work together to do advocacy to a regional organization like the European Union, like the ECOWAS, but also national parliaments. What did you really expect from the European Union, but also from the African government? Well, first of all, we want more transparency about what Frontex is doing because it's been a lot of work for us to find some information uh, which is not made public. I will give you an example. Uh, the cooperation agreements which are signed between Frontex and non-EU countries like Nigeria, like Cape Verde, as regards uh, the African continent, they, they, this, these are, uh, agreements are not made public. They've just been made public because of the pressure of civil society. But these agreements have no democratic oversight. The parliaments in Europe, but also outside of Europe, in the countries of cooperation, are not controlled before, during their implementation. And there's no assessment as regards their consequences on human rights. So that would be one of, of our first claims, would be more transparency about what's going on and more democratic oversight about it. And we do a lot of advocacy on this. The second one is that Frontex has to stop any operation which infringes on the rights of migrants, which we believe is all the activities of Frontex. And eventually, if we manage to prove and to document enough what these violations are, we would like to show that there is a lack of accountability. The agency is proactive in doing a number of actions and is taking part in a lot of cooperation programs and is never held accountable for whatever happens, including human rights violations. So ultimately, what we want is that the EU cancels, announce the mandate of Frontex.